had any communications yet with Senator McConnell, any Senate Republicans about uh, next steps, how to move forward? Not that I'm aware of. Um, right now, the president is squarely focused on honoring the legacy of uh, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Um, you know, Justice Scalia was really the lion of the court, and Justice Ginsburg, Ginsburg was the lioness. They were notably uh, friends, but they've left a mark on this court and on this country uh, that will never be forgotten. Um, we're mourning for her, her family, and the president um, last night said she was an amazing woman, and uh, that's what we're focused on today. Yeah, like, why women? There's a lot of talk already about Amy does this administration see or the White House think that maybe a woman justice would be a better bet? Yeah, we're, we're just not there yet in terms of entertaining names. Um, the president's um, obviously put forward two lists. Um, the American people know exactly where the president stands in terms of not just what his justices would look like, but um, exactly what their names are. Um, you know, they're originalists, you know, they're textualists, you know, they're people who respect the words of the Constitution and the plain text of statutes. Um, and, you know, you know where the president stands. Can't say that um, for every party. I take your point about how you say Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has said that he intends to push forward with nominating, uh, confirming whenever President Trump nominates. Why won't Republicans honor Justice Ginsburg's dying wish to let the next president? Look, we're aware of um, McConnell's statement, but right now we're honoring uh, the legacy of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. The flag is at half staff, um, rightfully so. Um, important to note, just as a, a woman, what this means for the country, what her legacy means for the country. Um, her husband got cancer while she was in law school, uh, while she was raising a three-year-old, while she was on law review, while she was near the top of her, cl her class or at the top of her class, um, unable to find a job when she graduated law school and really paved the way um, for someone like me to go to this very same law school as her and have nearly half of the class be women. Um, she was a trailblazer and she paved the way for many strong women in this country on both sides of the aisle uh, to have a legacy and to uh, have a career path in this country. You know, there what was exactly did the president learn of Justice Ginsburg's passing? Was he briefed by the staff last night after the rally? So I was not there. One of the few trips um, I did not go on with him. Um, he did not know about it on the stage. Um, I believe he found out from journalists um, whether he found out on, on the way to the gaggle. I'm not entirely sure, but I know for a fact because I was talking with staff on the ground. Uh, he was unaware of it until getting off the stage. Do you expect him to speak about that tonight at his rally? I'll leave that to him, uh, but you know this president's very transparent. He, um, I'm sure, will be taking questions from reporters today. Um, he'll be in North Carolina. Um, he has, I think, six of the seven uh, next days he'll be traveling. So you'll be hearing from him in short order um, and can ask him all of those questions. Thank you guys very much. Have a great and wonderful day.